Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News' video two of two for today. But first, a word from our sponsors, which is Extra Summer Sale. Grab your extras right now. Get Click the link deals. down below, and you're going to get more than 20% off. 20% mm -hmm. off, guys. Check it out. Alex, what the hell else has been going on in gaming news? The movie we have all been waiting for has started filming. Watch Dogs. Finally, after 10 years... I don't uh, really want it. No, you don't. You don't think that now's the time to make a Watch Dogs after the the really no. amazing one that we played. I don't. How many years ago was that? That was like three years ago. <laughs> I don't, I don't even remember. remember. It was terrible. Uh, but yeah, they're they're started filming. Uh, so Ubisoft posted a photo on social media on Wednesday showing a clapboard, and so they're ready to go. And um, I can't wait. Uh, the beginning of the movie will be about getting uh, social security cards for a buddy who needs one, and then the middle of the movie will be about getting social security cards for a guy, a different guy who needs one, and then the final one will be exactly the same as the first one, except for in a different building, um, because all yeah. of the missions in that game missions are the fucking <laughs> are the fucking same. Uh, it's so, so bad. No, uh, it's being made by New Regency, and um, I don't know. Uh, the first entry in the series came out in uh, May of 2014. This is when they decided that this is the, the IP that they want to make a movie about. But why? We already um, had the best movie ever. Hackers. Hackers. Yeah, I mean, the movie is perfect. So, um, <laughs> hack the planet. When I think of uh, a good hacking movie, that's the one I'm going to go to. Yeah. Uh, pay, having a payphone and a uh, cassette player play the sound into the payphone. Uh, that's how you know that we are super fucking old that all that stuff came out. Uh, this is probably going to go just as well as the Assassin's Creed or any of the other Ubisoft movies that they've made and you know not a, done a very good job with. So, um, Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that unless they have the grannies. I don't think that your preferred <laughs> My art posse style. was the best, though. I don't like it when you call it that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Your, your Golden Girls um, was, was a really interesting squad, and the outfits you put them in was really interesting, but I don't think the They're movie. hardcore. What do you mean? Yeah. They had to, like, get, it's like a badge of honor with those leather vests. The leather vest was their skin. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's just what happens when they're 90 years old. Uh, another video game uh, adaptation, this time Netflix Horizon Zero Dawn TV show, uh, has been canceled. Uh, originally, it was reported that it was in trouble, and this comes after the showrunner Steve Blackman faces a variety of allegations for toxic behavior, just general being a... Uh, so they're just, they're just going to scrap the whole show. Apparently so. They're not so. going to sw swap showrunners. They're like, that's how confident they were in mm, Horizon yeah. and how much people will care about it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so the article's author tells us the, that it is not continuing at all. Um, and so I imagine Netflix still has the rights, and maybe they'll find maybe something later. The, but okay. as of right now, in the future, with this crew, it is not happening. Wow. Um, Horizon. So what would you be more interested in, Watch Dogs or Horizon? Horizon. Horizon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, not by much, but Horizon. Yeah. I don't know. Like, you have to spend a lot of money to make Horizon yeah, look good. Yeah, you do. And, uh, Netflix TV show, I don't know if they're going to be able to spend enough money to make yeah. make that world feel feel the same. <laughs> I mean, maybe it'd be better in an animated series, but For sure. not, 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 not like this. Not a lot of action. Yeah. So according to the Rolling Stone article, had a long history of toxic behavior, bullying, manipulative, retaliatory behavior. It goes on and on and on about it. But um, ultimately, sounds like this guy very much a piece of shit. And then the, if you're yeah. excited about the TV show, it's not happening. Okay. Whip. Uh, I got some really good news. Okay. Uh, I'm ready for good news, Alex. Uh, it, this better not be a bait it is. and switch. Uh, so you know how I want Wizards of the Coast to like continue to, to like shit all over their audience yes. so people yeah. go away because they don't treat their customers very well? D&D uh, &D has early access periods now and pre-order bonuses and all sorts of cool stuff that they've adopted from uh, the mobile, mobile game mobile. In game industry. D&D &D mobile tactics. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna pull, That's great news. Yeah, I'm going to pull up this really amazing uh, pre-orders DLC chart that OJ can put uh, up top. And you can see now that there's three different tiers. So there's like a digital only, there's a digital and physical bundle, and then there's like different dice sets that you get, different frames, backdrops, early access periods. And so if you really want to get it two weeks before everyone else, you can pay a whole shitload of money. Um, and I just I, I don't think anything about this is, is any good. Um, all of the a lot of the new content they're saying yeah. is new is just copied from other books. 
And uh, that sucks, man. This this company is so desperate feeling. Joel, it's the stink of desperation and trying to milk their audience in different ways. And they'll be cool a little bit, and then then they come back, and then they get beat down, and then they come back, and they're always trying to find a way. Yeah. And it just sucks that those types of people are in charge over there with a beloved uh, franchise yeah. as 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 D and D. And Wizards of the Coast itself, both on D&D and Magic side, have been doing well for years. But the problem is they're owned by Hasbro, who the rest of the company is not doing yeah. super well. So it feels like they're just squeezing uh, and milking the audiences of the people that they do have. And the problem is everyone else's games are getting better. Pathfinder is getting better. Uh, there's so many new RPG systems that are coming out that aren't doing these things. And so... It doesn't take a lot to have a set of dice, and you know you can get a mini anywhere. It's like I don't; ha- they don't have to use your D and D books. They can use other ones, and so I don't know. It There's feels other like, options out there. Yeah, it's a wet bar. So you're gonna do that bullshit. How hard are you gonna squeeze before the thing just slips out and you lose everything? So yep. we shall see. All right. After that, we've got uh, Google. Uh, you know how they said they wanted to be carbon neutral sometime soon. Oh yes, what what have what have they done? Uh, so apparently, their AI uh, increases have uh, made their greenhouse gas emissions increase by nearly fifty percent in the last five years, um, which is what? awesome. <laughs> Wait, uh, did you say increase? Increase or decrease? Increase fifty percent. <laughs> Um, and, and they so, know they're going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are going the wrong way. Uh, so you, people were talking about. They need about, to issue a retraction. Yeah. No, see, what we meant was we was going to increase the <laughs> pollution, not decrease. That was a, a accounting error. Now, the problem with AI and Skynet and everything else is eventually they become self-aware and realize that humans are a problem and the biggest yes. threat to the planet. And the humans are the one creating the pollution. And so eliminate you, the humans. And so <laughs> what I'm worried is Google AI will Why be like... Why are you asking me to eliminate pollution? That, that's how I'm going to eliminate pollution. It's like, yeah. we both know you're not going to like the answer to this. <laughs> yeah. Like, and so Google has said that, oh, no, using AI, we're going to be able to figure out the problem. And it's like, well... The problem is human beings. Yeah, it's and, just like a uh, figure pointing at. Yeah, it's it's just a it's a mirror that it just <laughs> holds up. Uh, and then again, it, it's stuff like crypto and other things that have also increased it worldwide. So the UN UN scientists report that just Bitcoin mining and not the other crypto, um, coal is forty five percent of Bitcoin's energy supply mix, followed by natural gas at twenty one percent. Now there's some other ones, some renewables, but when forty five percent of that is is coal and then we're talking about ai and things being developed over in china as well where a lot of their power is also coal um we're going in the wrong direction and i think it's not too long before ai just says gotta kill all you people because you got you skynet. Got a problem you got we, we, do, we talk a lot about skynet last week we were talking about the skin that they're going to use for the infiltrator models yes and the ai so you <laughs> come to the angry joe show for your skynet updates yeah I love it. You're like, I don't think this guy's real. I love it. <laughs> his skin's all runny. Yeah. And his gloopy face with the smiley face and the little eyes. Like, what are you talking about? I am your friend. It's like, you're not put really. The pay, put the gloopy face picture there. I, that, that terrified a lot of people. There were a lot of people in the comments that were upset. They're like, I don't like that you showed this. It's terrifying. Yeah, put the gloopy face back. <laughs> Uh, in uh, unfortunate news. But, uh, by the way, let me jump in yep. here. Uh, so 3,049 players for Joker, episode one. Episode two Joker, 561 players. It went from 3,000 to 500. So uh, ultimately, I am going to be right with my prediction, less than 1,000 for episode four. Of with a character nobody asked that. for. But what will be the um, total? It'll probably be Joe's prediction, one th- between 1,000 and 1,500. All right, moving on. Uh, it turns out that uh, GTA Five, we were going to get a standalone DLC um, focusing oh on Trevor. Uh, yes, which sounds fucking awesome. Trevor. Um, but apparently it was just uh, canceled. Why? Uh, That's to one form- of the most popular games of all time. In, in fact, character. probably the most popular and successful game of all time. We didn't get DLC focused on one of the most popular characters in the whole fucking game. Why? Yeah, uh, it was apparently uh, dubbed the James Bond Trevor DLC, which sounds that sounds awesome, so amazing. And uh, so this was He'd be like a fuck up secret agent yeah. on meth. 
<laughs> apparently it was really, really good, but you know what happened was when GTA Online came out, it was so much of a cash cow, and people were loving it so much that it was hard to make an argument that a standalone DLC would outcompete that. Oh my god. And the guy says... We lo- of course, it makes total sense to those guys. To it those makes guys, total yeah. sense. And the second statement is, I think looking back now, I would say that you could probably do both, you know? Yeah, yeah no yeah. shit. You can. You could have <laughs> because probably done both. I gave you zero dollars for GTA Online. And it would have brought th- more people into their stupid fucking online casino, those dumb asses. Yeah. This lazy, complacent, just making money off of the fucking microtransaction shark cards. It's such a goddamn shame to see. Do you see how it always, almost always ruins games? Yes. And college football's coming out. We just saw this release date. There's, there's a gameplay video that me, me, me and Joe can do. But they're doing the reveal of their ultimate team tomorrow. And I guarantee you that slowly, as Madden was destroyed by ultimate team, the new hotness of everybody's positive on college football will slowly be destroyed by its ultimate team. Oh, I can't wait. Do you think we're going to have like, legacy players like O.J. Simpson and Aaron Hernandez, <laughs> guys that were just absolutely Whoa. killer in college? <laughs> nice. Huh? Nice. Yeah, fuck those games. But... <laughs> Terrible. Uh, hey, look. Yeah, that sucks. That's, a big, yeah, that's, that's, that's a big What's news me? story <laughs> that uh, we could have got Trevor DL Trevor Focus DLC, yeah. maybe even Secret Agent Trevor. Focus. Yeah, they said they got more than halfway through it, um, uh, being and uh, was ready to be released, yeah. and then they just said, "Nah, let's not do it. We'll focus that's on these. Fucking dumb. Let's focus on these microtransactions because they make more money." <sighs> and I mean, ultimately, the guys that you know, the bean counters at, at the op- were just going like, "Way, we probably will make more money if we make a." Little Literal casino for children. Yeah, but, pizza, uh, but I know that I costs are lower for. I would have given you money. Yeah, yeah. I would have given, given, given you thirty given dollars easily for yeah. that, and I, I gave give him forty. Yeah, I. Uh, Expand. It's just heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. Yep. So. Uh, uh, <clears throat> all right, so my new story is Dragon Age. So this was, I tried to talk about this one in the first video because you were talking about games degrading and getting so easy for the dumbasses to play them these days. Well, this one, Dragon Age the Veil Guard, difficulty options, will allow you to turn off death entirely. Where's the fun in that? <laughs> so there's a mode that is even easier. So there's no risk. Than easy is even easier than journalist mode. It is you never die mode. Nice. No, nobody wants that. Who wants that? Uh, there's also an unbound mode, which enables individual adjustment of features like wayfinding, aim assist, combat timing to make pairing easier, enemy health, and how much damage they put Only out. Only the pairing part. All right. <laughs> yeah. Only the pairing. <laughs> Me too. No. <laughs> if it's Elden Ring. Yes. And, and full on auto aim is also available, as is one that prevents death from occurring outright. The game director, uh, Corinne Bish. Bish-, Bish- Boucher. Is that Boucher? <laughs> that is Boucher. Boucher. That's Bobby Boucher right there. <laughs> Kareem Boucher told the site that none of those options are cheats. It's an option to make sure that players of all abilities can show up and play our game. Get... <laughs> all right, well. <laughs> get good. I'm going to get good. <laughs> get good, motherfucker. Uh, no, those people are going to be pissed. Get good people are going to be pissed. And frankly, so as long as it's an option, I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to use that option. It's, I just thought it was hilarious and notable that uh, I would be if like, I was dies, like, of course, Dragon Age, the fail guard would have that option. That's yeah. what I thought, if that means anything. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm all for accessibility. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, there was even people talking about things even like Elden Ring needing a pause. Which because- apparently there is, but you have to like go step by step by step by step yeah. to do it. But- yeah. Having options for people that are differently abled or any like any other things. I mean, those things are all good things, and as long as they're not the standard of the yeah, game. Yeah, as soon as you make it the standard, that's, that's when I have a problem with yeah, it. Yeah. But to me, if you want to put those options, nah. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't bother me. There's even cinematic modes for a ton of these things to kind of walk you through anything. People who really don't want to play the game. And that's fine. Not for me, but but that's commenters fine. don't agree. The conflation of accessibility and difficulty is such a dirty little move. Yeah, but see, you're not disabled, so you don't you don't have uh, that, those issues, and you don't understand Some why be- why do, why even play the game if it's gonna be that it's like bro. But you don't why to. even play then? Just watching through a playthrough is effectively the same thing. Ooh, your monitor isn't very good. Idiot? So you have to turn up your brightness. That's cheating. Turning up your brightness so you can see. It's still it's like, a video game. It's still interactive. Yeah. What is, I just. Okay, but, you know, 
now I feel like I'm contributing to this that I put in, that making fun of it, because then all the gamers are making fun of it. It's like, yeah, but it's just an option. But still, I knew this game would include that. Yeah. Okay, what else? I got one more. Mm-hmm. I got Xbox Live had a major outage. Did y'all know that? Uh, and we didn't know it because we don't use Xbox Live. Uh, we haven't used it in a long time. But there was a major outage, and we, at this point, we still don't know what went wrong. Usually when those things happen, it's like, you know, people DDoSing, like, a particular game. Mm-hmm. Did you go to Seattle? You know, touch something? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> users no longer encountering issues at 9 uh, p.m. Uh, That's at my bedtime. About ju- mm, yeah, but no, it was going on throughout the whole thing. The oh. outage was reported around 2 p.m. We were and then it wasn't until 9. Yeah, uh, some people and in people chat were, came chat and said Xbox about. Live is down. Yeah. And it's like, usually happens when a major game comes out and motherfuckers just want to DDoS the fuck out of it or something like that. Um, and I, I'm, I, I get frustrated when this happens and it, that's my only method of out output and they wanted to put everything online they wanted to do this nanny console uh many years ago luckily they put a stop to it well he told you there is no f- switch that there, you can flip no slip, switch except for they found they the, flipped the switch three, like, three days later yeah yeah they found it they didn't they weren't looking very hard <clears throat> yeah so um when when asked about it uh they uh, said that they're still investigating and they don't we still don't have an answer on what went wrong <laughs> that's reassuring yeah so, I just want. I thought the, I'd mention uh, it because it's been a it's been a long time since uh, one of them have went down. But periodically throughout the year, you'll have something like that happen where Xbox Live will be down. It is one of the dangers of having everything. and PlayStation. Yeah, having all of our games on something even like Steam. Uh, Tuesdays is Steam's day where they yes. do a bunch of maintenance, and there is it frequently. I mean, at least. A couple times a year, Steam completely goes down for long periods of time on a yeah. Tuesday. And you, you get older, you got less free time. You're like, hey, I can finally it's sit down like, and play this game. You. And then it's like, man, <laughs> fuck off. And that's just the, the way that's the world we live in. Yes. So. Yes, it is. Um, and that's why we need games that are single player to have an offline mode. This or is game always boy online or all, all these things here. You know, it shouldn't affect people that are playing single player games. So that is the news for this week. We want to thank our sponsor, Exter, Mm -hmm. who uh, continues to support the show. Hopefully you do, too. Thank you so much. Click the links down below. Subscribe to the show. Spread the word. And we will see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. 